lovelies, to all the women who are dealing with any type of infertility issues or just, you know, any issues that cause them to not be able to be childbearing or anything like that. My love goes out to you and my prayers go out to you. You are strong women. You are amazing. So just keep your head up and just live the life to the best you can, my loves. Like, I'm telling you, you're not alone. We love you. I promise you, like... We love you. One, excuse me for looking crusty. Two, my niece is going ham in the background, so you're sorry. So we're about to set up the photo shoot backdrop, and I got these white tablecloths from Dollar General. And I got some black ones. I saw somebody do this on YouTube, and they pictures came out. Mm. So we're gonna see how I go with Jimmy. So let's get into it. Full disclaimer, y'all are gonna hear my niece in the background going ham the entire video. Like the entire, like this little girl ate some Oreo cake and she just been lit all day, you feel me? But yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a little life update before we get into the, you know, the reason y'all are here, okay? So I moved back to Virginia around December 1st. Uh, me and my ex broke up the day before Thanksgiving. So that was eventful. And my parents and I drove all the way back from California to Virginia uh, and it took us seven days to get back. We did stop, and, you know, it was the holidays and stuff. But yeah, so me and my ex broke up and it was kind of a mutual thing. And no, we did not break up because I'm pregnant. It was more like a, we both had see different views on the world and we just, you know, just it wasn't giving what it was supposed to be giving, but we're still kind of cool, you know, we're trying to work things out, but let him tell it he hates me. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I moved back home and I did start my business again. Where are my little dark spots? I did start my business back up. So you guys can check the link for my nail polishes. They are like a limited collection. So once they sell out, they are gone. So definitely check those out if you guys need some nail polish i did kind of like adjust the price because um i wanted them to be affordable but they are you know like exclusive so i couldn't like sell them for like dirt cheap you feel me so it's always bittersweet but i had to drop out of nail school that killed me but i mean you know things happen for a reason you feel me like everything happens for a reason and you know maybe it just wasn't time it wasn't time and then I got blessed with this bundle of joy that I'm carrying. So I'm definitely not mad at it. And it's a, life is a life lesson, you feel me? Everything happens for a reason. But a little story time on how I got pregnant. Well, not how I got pregnant, but how we found out that I was pregnant. I am so sorry. I do not know what happened to the audio. So it's voiceovers from here, you feel me? So how I found out I was pregnant, me and my ex went into this Hispanic supermarket and it was really popular in California. I just, I've never, you know, heard of it or anything. So we were in there, we grabbed a couple items. We had maybe two or three items in our hand and the lines were super long. So this lady let us get in front of her, you know, that she was grocery shopping and uh, she saw, you know, we had a couple items and she was like, oh, mommy cravings. Yep, got to make sure, you know, you feed those or something like that. Like she was saying, like, as if I was pregnant. 
and I laughed it off. And, I, you know, I had a mask on, so I wasn't really, like, you know, it wasn't really obvious. I was looking at her like, what the hell are you talking about? But <laughs> at the same time, it was really, like, uh, okay. And, I mean, I did have on a tank top, so I was a little bloated, you feel me? But she was, like, pretty much talking, like, you know, those mommy cravings, da 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 And my ex didn't catch on, so when we left the store, I was like, hey, did you hear her say that I was pregnant? Like, she thought I was pregnant. And then he was like, well, I mean, maybe because, you know, uh, Hispanic women, they sense things like that, you know, out here in this and that third. So I was like, okay, this your area, you know what you're talking about. So I think, you know, we should get a test. But we eventually, uh, two or three days later, went, <laughs> we were in Dollar Tree, and we picked up some Dollar Tree tests. And y'all don't come for me. It was just, you know, us doing it because we were in there. But then we went back and we got a, a pack of clear blue tests. It was like three of them in there. Uh, once we took the Dollar Tree test, because they were positive. Like, the line was faint, but they were positive, you feel me? But at this time, I was only, like, three weeks, so it was super early. And I didn't take the test that morning. I took them at night, so I was like, okay, if this is this strong, you know, the levels are this strong, then I must really be pregnant. So um, a couple weeks later, like a week or, yeah, about a week later, I went to a clinic and did a urine test and she confirmed that I was pregnant I think it was two weeks because she told me I was like five weeks in like a half so it was really crazy how like we found out because it was like this lady in the grocery store just told me I'm pregnant and I never knew but I wasn't doing anything while you know like drugs or like drinking or anything anyway so I wasn't really worried about, oh, I'm harming the baby or nothing like that. Like, I was eating a lot, too. So it it all worked out. It was fine. But I was like, oh, my God, I'm about to be a mom. And it was really crazy. But things started to go downhill. And I ended up moving back home. And right now, I'm currently 14 weeks pregnant. Four months, 14 weeks. I'll be 15 weeks in two days, three days. So I'm super excited. I'm so glad I get to share this with you guys. And if you guys want pregnancy videos, let me know. Like I love watching them. So I would love to make them for you guys if y'all are interested. So I attempted to style my fox locks here, but I ended up going in my mom's room and she helped me do my little bang with the ponytail, you know, style that I achieved. She helped me with that. And you know, I am a wig wearing MF, you feel me? I do not really wear fox locks, but with being pregnant, getting up and doing my hair when I need to make videos or just go out the house is OD. I don't feel like wearing a wig, but like I feel like around my birthday, I'm going to want to change that. But I really love these. These are so cute. They're crocheted. I got them done by my mom's hairstylist, and they're super, super freaking long. I got the hair off Amazon. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. So here I'm just going to show you guys quickly like how I made these XXL nails. I definitely regret them immediately. As soon as I was done taking the pictures, I cut them and then I made some TikToks and then I took them off, threw them in the trash. Like I love them. I had the idea like I just want to do a set because it's been so long since I did nails. 
but like sis no these xxls no i've been really loving the almond like short nails because the one like so much easier to do things with and i think it's like the mommy and me is like okay the grabbers is nice but you you about to be grabbing babies and stuff you don't need to be doing that so you feel me like this is just where uh photo purposes only and i know people gonna be like oh you got them long ass nails on mind the business that pay you and i ain't got no money for you okay period but I really love the design, so I hope you guys enjoy watching the video of me make them.
Okay, so we have concluded the photo shoots. Shout out to my mom for helping with the beautiful pictures. I'll post them for you guys so you guys can see my little bump. You know, you feel me. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching.